Alright, this is the track guide for Vallelunga. Um, if you want to watch the hot lap, then that's at the end of the video. But um, yeah, let's get into the track guide. Alright, coming through turn 1 and turn 2, I mean, they're not really turns, but um, keep it as tight as possible as you can through the Curva Grande and come onto the curb for what is turn 3 and stay to the left for turn 4. And my breaking point is generally where you see the rubbered in part of the track starts to hit the edge of the track on the left is where I'm looking for to start braking, really. It's very important that you don't brake too late. Because um, if you go wide on this corner, you're going to lose a ton of time. Uh, you want to hit that inside curb without hitting the orange sausage curb. I might have even braked a bit too late for this corner uh, on this particular lap. But to keep it to the left, and we're coming up to turn 7, which is just a big hairpin bend, essentially. So look for the curb on the left, and that's your braking reference. Uh, about when that starts is when you want to start to brake. And coming through the corner, just feel the rotation of the throttle and uh, make sure you don't slide it, but give it enough just to rotate it a bit more. And then coming through to turn 8, once again, use the curb on the right as a braking reference. About when the curb starts is when you want to be braking. And uh, ideally you want to come at the corner tight enough so that you're not hitting the orange curb, but you're as close as you can get to it pretty much. And uh, I'm going to switch to a different lap for this corner because I really messed it up on that current lap but it is my fastest lap still and for turn 11 get nice and to the left and once the curb on the left stops is about when you want to turn in uh, don't get on the inside curb because you'll just make the car really unstable because you want to pretty much pin it on the throttle in second gear to get around the corner with some nice rotation pretty much the same as the last kind of big hairpin except this one's a bit slower then coming up to turn 12, get as much to the right as you can, and then I don't really have a braking reference for this one, you sort of just feel it out for yourself, it's not too hard of a braking zone, and uh, you want to get on that inside curb without clipping the orange sausage curb on the inside, and uh, be gentle on the throttle, if you go on the throttle too hard then uh, you'll lose the rear really easily, just uh, be a bit patient through this corner, and then the 13 and 14 S section, uh, you want to turn in quite early for turn 13, uh, just getting all over that inside curb and then staying in the center of the track for turn 14 and using all of that curb once again and uh, just trying to carry as much speed as you can on the exit and then the final corner, turn 15, is nice and banked uh, just drop down into third gear and uh, try and ride the banking but unfortunately on this lap I caught a little bit of a slide so I lost a bit of time but um, yeah you just want to run it out nice and smooth and uh, make use of that banking. And for overtaking, turn one, well, turn four really, is a pretty good place because you can pick up a nice long slipstream uh, on the main straight. Uh, just going down the inside and make sure you leave enough space on the outside if they still hang around the outside. Because um, if you're on the inside and you're entering quite tight, you're gonna naturally get pushed to the outside and so you could easily take someone out. So just be very careful that you're leaving space if they're still on the outside. And again, on the run to turn 7 is a good overtaking place just because it's a nice long straight where you can pick up a slipstream and then go down the inside. If you're quick, you might be able to hang it around the outside and that'll give you the inside for the next corner uh, at turn 8. Or you can just pick up the slipstream on the run to turn 8 and try and go for a dive there as well. You can go for moves in 11, but I don't really recommend it because um, the rest of the part, or the rest of the track, sorry, gets a bit tight after this. And uh, it's not really ideal for going side by side, and you'll probably lose a lot of time fighting. Uh, it's just not worth it compared to overtaking in something like turn what? Well, turn four and seven or eight. There's nice long straights. So you can just pick up a slipstream and not lose any time, pretty much fighting. But uh, if you absolutely have to get past someone, then you can still try it. Or turn 12, just be very careful that you leave enough space. Go down the inside, I wouldn't really recommend trying the outside, because if you do manage to hang around the outside, you're going to be on the outside for the 13 and 14 section, and just don't really recommend it if you've got a car on your inside. You need to be ahead going into turn 13 to actually make anything work there, and if you're not ahead, then you're just going to lose position to the guy on the inside. Unless you're much quicker than them, and you can dive into the corner and sort of claim the space on the inside for turn 14, but um, if you're racing someone who's pretty much the same pace as you, or they're quite quick, then they're not going to let you do that. For the final corner, going down the inside, 
You have to be careful not to get on this inside curb because you can have a bit of a slide and you'll lose your drive compared to the guy on the outside. As long as you're able to stay alongside and it's not too bad because you'll still have the inside for turn 4. And for the setup, if you want to download it and get it automatically for a set of Corsa, then just click the AC stuff link in the description. But uh, you can also do it the old fashioned way and copy whatever I have down. Uh, these tire pressures seemed pretty good for the race. Uh, tires don't really like to get heated up, it seems. So um, they're pretty high. You want 19 liters of fuel for the race and 10 for quali. You can probably get away with 18 in the race, but uh, I'm always really careful of my fuel, uh, just in case, so I always go 19. And you always want TC off and ABS on. And then feel free to pause the video and just to see whatever I have down and you can copy it or whatever you're doing, I don't know. <laughs> and before we get into the hot lap, I just want to say thank you very much to all of the channel members. If you'd like to become a channel member, then it's only one pound, so you can support me in that way. If I've helped you with anything to do with the track or setup, then... You can support me like that, but you don't have to, and everything is free. And let's get to the hot lap. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you all later.